Now for the other side, we turn to the judge. Jack was referencing Judge Michael Mukasey. He's former U.S. Attorney General in the George W. Bush administration. Joins us live from New York. Judge, you've been listening to Jack. Uh, your response? Well, uh, let's start with the fact, with the, the claim that we're conflating uh, what we do uh, with what uh, terrorists do. Um, I think that's not, that's not the issue. The, the issue is whether foreign governments would conflate what we do with what terrorists do, and they've already shown that they're inclined to do that. Um, governments as diverse as Belgium, Spain, Afghanistan um, have tried to bring lawsuits uh, against us and against our diplomatic and military people based on sovereign acts that the United States took. Look, the United States has more people overseas than um, any other country in the world, um, more, more diplomats, more military people, more intelligence gatherers. And we have the most at risk from the notion not that another country is going to do the same thing as was done in this bill, but rather that they're going to use this as the excuse to undercut sovereign immunity and go after not only us, that is as a government, but our diplomats, our military people, um, and our intelligence cabinet. Judge, respond to the criticism uh, from 9-11 families and others who support this bill that this is only designed to really protect Saudi Arabia, that this is about the relationship between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia and preventing embarrassment for what may have been funding for the 9-11 attacks. No, this is about um, an attempt to essentially extort a settlement out of Saudi Arabia. These people want to get into court based not on a determination by our government that there is a possibility that Saudi Arabia was involved here because there's been no such determination. Well, you know and the back and forth of the 28 pages that recently became declassified, but there's large sections of it that are still uh, blacked out, uh, largely pointing to some kind of connection with someone in Saudi Arabia uh, there are not, tying, to, well, tying to the 9-11 terrorists. I, I, I dispute that there are large sections blacked, blacked out. I've read the 28 pages to the extent they've been released. And what they show is contact between people involved in 9-11 and some low-level diplomats in the United States. That doesn't show Saudi government involvement. Um, there's a huge difference between saying that these people had contact with diplomats here of an undisclosed kind and saying that the Saudi government was involved. There's not a shred of evidence pointing to that. And if there were, then there was already legislation that exists that allows our government to make a determination that Saudi Arabia was involved in an act of international terrorism, as we have in the case of Iran. All right, now and quickly. To allow people to sue. For some lawmaker who's getting ready to override the president's veto, and it looks like, Judge, they have the votes, both sides of the aisle. You have House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi supporting this and others. What do you tell them in the final pitch that somehow gets them to change their override of this veto? What I tell them in the final pitch is that. We all have sympathy for the 9-11 families. We all want to see them get whatever is coming to them and perhaps a bit more. But we also want to make sure that the United States is protected, that this, we don't hurt ourselves in an effort to try to help the families. And in fact, this isn't going to help the families so much as it's going to help lawyers like Mr. Quinn and other trial lawyers who have been pushing for this legislation for years. This legislation went through the Senate. He made it sound as if it received intense consideration. It didn't. There were no hearings in the Senate, and there was a one morning hearing in the House. But it was seven years, I mean, and it did come out of committee. It, it had no hearings okay. this time around. Well, Judge, we appreciate None. your time. Uh, fair and balanced discussion tonight. Jack Quinn, thank you.